Hey everyone, definitely thought this vlog was going to start off a lot differently to what, I, to what I'm going to say, but um, yesterday, it's, it's Saturday by the way, and I've been working the past few days, I literally was super tired last night. It was probably around half nine when this situation happened, maybe caught to ten. Um, just about to go to sleep and then I, hear, I heard my mum and brother like shout me, like in panic. And I've never really experienced that before, like nothing like this has ever happened. Like this sort of thing has ever happened, like we don't know what to do with this sort of thing. And basically the dog, Barney, who is 15 weeks old, swallowed an entire sock. It had fallen out of like a big pile of clothing we didn't realise. And yeah, it's just a bit of shit really because he completely swallowed it. We couldn't get it out of his mouth. Like we were trying to prise his jaw open and he swallowed an entire sock. So we all panic. Like we don't really know what to do in any sort of situation like this. Barney is literally so, so tiny still. Um, and obviously his sock is just definitely not going to pass through his intestines or like what? Like we just didn't know what to do. Obviously everyone was panicking, crying. It was just crazy. Um, and we headed to the emergency vets in like a town near us. It took about like half an hour to get there. They gave him like injections to try and make him throw up. I did not realise how extremely expensive the vet, like I knew that vets were really expensive, like don't get me wrong, I didn't think they were fucking cheap, but um, I didn't realise how extortionate it was. The consultation just for them to like look at Barney was £170 because it was out of like hours because it was in the evening and then it's it was literally 60 pounds on top of that for the injection to try and make him throw up and he just did he wasn't sick for like two hours that we were there so we had to move to a another vet's in like a different area and they were going to give him an endoscopy um to see if they could like show a camera basically down his throat and grab the sock out like when like under anesthetic and that would have cost an extra 800 pounds and then if not they'd have to do an operation where they would like cut open his stomach get the sock out and then basically when we got to this other vet the vet said that they'd found like seven stones in his stomach as well and like we just all feel like shit because because we literally try so hard we follow him around everywhere to make sure he doesn't hurt himself to make sure he's not eating the wrong things and stuff but he's his jaw is literally so strong that we can't open it obviously when we go on walks like it's literally impossible to stop him like touching the ground with his mouth and I don't know it was just it was such a traumatic night like I know no one died or anything like I know it's not the end of the world but last night was honestly like one of the worst nights I've had in ages like I was literally knackered as well um and then having to leave little Barney there like made me so emotional I'm trying to keep it together now to be honest um I don't really I can't really be asked to start the crying situation again because I just get loads of shit for it yeah, it's been a very, very difficult night and it's made me feel sick ha not having Barney here and the money is like a huge fucking worry, like... Okay, one sec. I don't, I don't know why I'm like telling you guys like all of this, like no one probably cares. <laughs> but um, I mean, I'm sharing my life and I don't want it all to seem like great because I've had these like great, like couple of, like the last week I've been in London and Birmingham and it's been great. And then something like this always has to like put a shitter on my entire week. Um, I'm obviously trying to stay positive, like, Barney, we've actually found out that Barney's come out okay from the operation, I forgot to say that, I'm sorry. Um, he's, we found out that he's come out okay, but I just, we just all feel like, I don't know, it's, it's the money situation, it's a massive problem. I just thought I'd talk about that because I feel like it looks like my life's fucking great online right now, but I'm struggling and I'm sorry if I haven't replied to your Instagram messages, I always feel so bad because... Um, I love chatting to everyone and like getting back to everyone and I, I want to sit down and have like thorough like conversations with you guys but I just haven't been able to respond for the past like 24 hours which might seem stupid to some people but like when people message me about stuff to do with like mental health and stuff I like want to obviously respond quickly and things so yeah it's just been a bit difficult and I'm really sorry I will get back to you as soon as I feel be a little bit better I'm sure it I'll come around in a couple of days um, or even tomorrow, like, I don't know how long this is going to take to go, but I just think it's just been a very emotional roller coaster over the past, like, 24 hours, and I don't really know what to do. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably gone through something similar to this, maybe, like, where your, one of your pets has eaten something. It's just, 
I think the most upsetting part is just watching my mum get super upset about it. I keep trying to think positive even though it's like making me emotional like I keep trying to put a light on the situation to make everyone feel better like at least Barney's okay now like he's got through it and we can make up the money like I'm working as many days in summer as absolutely possible me and David are just gonna like pay for it and sort it out like I don't want to put any other stress on my family and stuff I don't want my life to look perfect at all I'm like quite an open person like I don't mind sharing stuff like this I never want anyone to experience that sort of fucking panic that I did last night, man. Anyway, yeah, I thought this vlog was going to be just me having a lovely cute weekend in because I've just been working constantly. I did need to film lots of content today. Don't know if that's going to happen anymore now because of everything, which is fair enough. Shit like this happens. Stuff hits you when you least expect it. Um... But yeah, I just want to sort of say thank you guys in advance because I know um, most of you are going to be very supportive about the situation and just thank you for even just watching my videos because every little view is going to help me pay towards um looking after my little puppy <laughs> uh, i need to i just the fact the fact that i can't really help my family out because i'm a student and i'm not re i'm not really earning much at the minute it's just fucking horrible like i just oh. I just want to get a good job so that I can help my family out, to be honest. Like, that's literally my goal in life. I just want everyone to be happy, you know. Anyway, um, I'll give you updates on Barney's back. I'm sure I'll show you him. It's going to be so heartbreaking, but I can't wait to go grab him. Right, so we've had some news that Barney is being kept in the vets for the majority of the day. We're going to pick him up around 4 o'clock-ish. Um, but I just thought I would set up a GoFundMe page in, in case anyone is willing to help out like obviously I know everyone can't help out like I know the difficulty with money trust me um yeah I know how difficult it can be but if even if you can donate like a pound it would seriously help us out right now um I'll leave the link in the top link of the I'll leave the link um to the GoFundMe page um uh, top link of the description um so hopefully it's all okay um but yeah, as long as Barney's alright, it should be fine. Just need to try and get some money sorted to pay for his operation. Um, just gonna head over to my wardrobe and chest of drawers now and just whack everything on Depop essentially just to get that extra bit of money to help go towards his operation really. Right, so I've actually perked myself up now. I've had a three hour sleep, which might seem excessive, but I have worked 36 hours in the past four days, I believe. That was a really lovely long well needed nap um, I'm trying to stay positive obviously I haven't had the greatest um, start to my weekend but um, it's okay like I'm just it's just sort of like put things into perspective for me a lot more sorry about all these flyaway hairs um, it sort of yeah put stuff into perspective a lot more for me um, in terms of just what's really important you know like Barney means the absolute world to me like I literally do anything for him and I just want him home safe and sound who cares about the money when we just want our little Barney okay and stuff it's fine like I can work to get my money back like it's absolutely fine I'm gonna work my hardest and try and help my brother out and stuff so yeah I feel like this is really like <clears throat> So like this has been such a downer on this vlog, but like I said, like I vowed to to share both the like positive and negative negative sides of my life because I feel like that's what really makes me connect with you guys. Um, I don't want to just share like me drinking cocktails or me buying new things. Like I want to share real life, like stuff that actually happens. Why I might be off social media for a few days. Like your favorite people who you aspire to be like will probably have these days as well, but they don't share it as much. And I'm not saying they should, like, because some people just aren't as comfortable, and I get that. But um, yeah, just think that sometimes if people have had like three days off social media, they could be going through something really difficult, or they could just be maybe like having a bit of a detox after a lot of negative things online and stuff. It's just yeah, I don't know. I hope this makes sense. Um, thought I'd have a quick chat because I've got an essay coming up um, that I have to complete and basically for my Guatemala trip if those of you that are new one of my modules for third year that I have managed to apply and get in for the forensics overseas, overseas field course and I'm going to Guatemala I'm going to be going to mass graves I'm going to be go going to volcanoes 
lots of different places in Guatemala. We're traveling constantly. It's going to be a really gross trip. I'm going to smell loads. Um, I'm going to be dressing horribly. My hair's going to be greasy. I'm going to be an absolute mess, but it's going to be a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm going with 15, 14 other people um, on my course with two lecturers who are very knowledgeable, know the area extremely well. It's going to be great. I need to sort my jabs out for that trip, by the way. But yeah, I basically, before I have to go, before I go, I have to write a research essay as part of my module. And I think it constitutes to about 15, 20% of my module. I could be completely wrong. Um, but yeah, so it does count to quite a bit. So I need to get started on that. I need to message um, my lecturers a essay title and get that approved. So I need to do some research for that today. I'm gonna try and get on with that once I've cuddled Barney. I just wanna make sure he's okay and make him calm, back, feel back at home. Um, so yeah, I do need to start that um, and get an ideas together. I have no idea at the minute. I sort of was focusing so much on my exams that I didn't really think about that as much. And then I also obviously need to book my jabs. And then alongside that, I also I have my journal that I complete whilst I'm on the trip, which is part of the course. So I write things that I'm learning along the way and then that gets submitted as well as like participation in activities whilst we're on the course. We're going to be like extracting DNA from bone to help identify victims' bodies and bits and pieces like that. Um, so participation in those sort of activities are going to get us them sort of marks. And then finally I have to do a presentation when we get back, I th when we get back, um, not in September, I think the actual presentation's in December time because the people who aren't going on the course, the overseas courses some people are going to new york i'm going to guatemala um the reason i picked guatemala was simply because i don't think i'll be going back to guatemala anytime soon whereas i probably want to go to new york with like my boyfriend or something and guatemala is so different and i feel like it will be like a once in a lifetime experience the other people left on my course are doing like a forensics in the public eye course i believe module and they're obviously learning that from september to december and then when they finish that we're all doing like presentations to each other which should be cool like, very nerve-wracking but i'm not going to worry about that until it actually comes is that barney back no i'm just getting excited by the door because i just want to see his little face i've missed him so much he's literally been gone for like not even 12 hours but i miss him so much anyway yes yeah, so i'm gonna get started on researching that um, I do actually want to show you something quickly though that I got in the post uh, a couple of days ago but I was so tired to even show, talk let alone show you so here we are my room is an absolute state I need to get that sorted I'm going to um, dedicate tomorrow to sorting that out but basically I've got some weird duvet on at the minute. So I got sent this gorgeous rucksack as part of a campaign for Beninox. I worked with Beninox before and they've sent over this campaign um, which is for um, students to help with exams, revision, exam season stress and stuff like that. This They've sent over a rucksack from this brand here which is called Stradivarius potentially <laughs> um it's stunning it's got like a cool wooden um bamboo handle and i just think this is going to be great for holidays like summer holidays just to whack on like if you're going to the beach or whatever um so these are the products that they've sent over it's the beninox overnight recharge so this is supposed to help reduce tiredness fatigue help you ease um help ease sleep and it gives you all of the bits and pieces that you need to maintain good amount of energy especially during exam season I've tried these before i really love the black currant flavor it's my favorite of the two um, but they also have the lemon and ginger one too um, and then they also sent over some little goodies to go alongside that to help um like through exam season and just like little bits and pieces that are helpful for students so they've sent over a bamboo lunch box from paper chase which is stunning it's got this like beautiful floral design on the top and it's purple then we have a reusable cup called keep cup i'm sh assuming that's the brand um so yeah got my own little reusable cup which is handy because i don't have one this size and I, I, i'm assuming this means that it's medium i really wanted one this size for when i go to like coffee shops because my one's always so so massive and um, so i'm really excited about this so thank you very much to beninox for sending that over as well we've got some stabilo pastel highlighters which i can't get enough of i love these especially during exam season or even when i'm taking notes they are super handy and then then we have a Eat Natural Fruit and Nut Almond, Almond and Sultana Bar with peanuts and apricots. So this is obviously a, like a little rejuvenating healthy snack. And finally, um, they sent over this gorgeous Yes You Can Pink Paper Chase notebook, which I almost bought the other day. So how weird. Um, 
But yeah, I absolutely love this. I'm currently scheduling my YouTube stuff in here. So if you have any requests for main channel videos, let me know. I've got a lot planned coming up. I'm... I've been brainstorming ideas over the past couple of days, so um, fingers crossed all my content will be going up very, very soon. Got lots of fashion, uni, lifestyle related content. I want to get some skincare and makeup stuff in there. Um, but yeah, thank you very much to this little package, Ben and Knox. I really appreciate it. And I definitely recommend these if you're struggling to um, maintain energy and you're really struggling with tiredness during exam season. It so Barney's home now. Um, we've taken his little bandage off. Um, he had a little bandage around his arm because he had a catheter in. Um, but he's got a little scar. Do you want to show everyone your scar, Barney Bear? Come and sit on my legs in the kitchen. Hello, Angel. No, so Barney's got a little mini scar there from his um, little operation, but he seems to be... Don't you? He's just a little bit sad. Right, so sorry about the shit quality. I haven't had time to really like set up my camera mount and everything. Um, but as you can tell, it's the evening. I'm just about to collect my dad and granddad from the pub and drop them back. Um, fucking hell. I'm just about to pick my dad and granddad up from the pub because it was the Liverpool Tottenham game. My family support Tottenham and I think they lost. So looking forward to that combo when they get in the car. But yeah, Barney's starting to get a lot better now. He's starting to go back to his normal mischievous self. He's still very, very different to how he usually is. Like, he's definitely not completely okay. But um, I think he's doing well. Like, we just have to really, really monitor him at the minute. Apparently, like, the vets have given us different bits and pieces that we need to give him. Um, and yeah, I don't know. It's just been a roller coaster of emotions over the past couple of days and I'm just thankful that every, everyone's okay. We've sorted all their issues out with money and stuff and Barney is healthy again. Well, like as healthy as he can be in this situation. But yeah, he's, he's fine. I'll be sure to update you guys and thank you to anyone who has donated so far. I seriously appreciate it. And my, me and my family are literally beyond grateful. Like no one had to do it. I just thought it would be a nice idea in case anyone had that extra bit of money to like help towards it. Like, does anyone else's grandparents, um, whenever they leave, uh, whenever like you leave their house, they always stand waving at you right until you leave. I love that, it's so cute. But anyway, yeah, I've just dropped my granddad home. I dropped my dad home first because he brought food back for my mum and brother. So, um, yeah, just had a little um, chat to my grandparents, which is lovely because I haven't properly, like, sat and talked to them since I've come home from uni because I've been working. So it's nice to have a little catch-up with them and I'll probably go around again tomorrow or Tuesday to have a proper chill with them. I just, I just love being home and just seeing all my family. Like, although I don't like the area that I live in, it is just lovely to see everyone and spend time with um, all my like, favourite people again. Only issue is, like, I literally have no friends here. <laughs> I don't want anyone to get a violin out, but I basically just don't have any friends really that live around here, like only a few and most of them are either working or just we have different schedules. Um, most of my friends now, well like obviously I've got Megan here, but like we spend most of our time working together anyway. Hattie's on the outskirts of London, um, Carrie and Amy are far away from me, I just, it will hit me soon that I have no friends here and I'll be like sick. <laughs> just heading home now, it's been a long day, I hope this um, this vlog hasn't been too boring for you guys but like I said this is what I'm what happened to my day like I was planning on doing so many like different blog YouTube stuff life isn't always how you plan it out to be <laughs> that is what I've learned from today and I just definitely want to value like the most important things in life and don't get worked up about minor things that can be fixed very easily. Feelings like this are only temporary and they like you'll feel better in no time. The quality will definitely improve in my car as soon as I've got um, my car suction thing on and a better camera. So I don't know how long that's gonna be. Obviously that's gonna be a bit more delayed now because I'd almost saved enough up for my camera. I'd almost saved enough up to buy my camera, but obviously this operation thing's been a big situation, so I've had to use all my savings on that, um, which is fine. Like, I'm not, like, mad at anyone. Like, no, it's no one's fault that this has happened. Yeah, I'll just have to start saving again, and luckily I've got lots of work coming up um, from, like, the workplace that I'm, I always go to in summer, so all is good, and I'm ending, I'm going to end this video with a lot of positive vibes because I know that this morning I didn't really give off the best start, so yes.
Right, so because I'm a mess and completely forgot to end the vlog last night, just thought I'd say thank you very much for watching. Um, how is everyone else doing? Are you still doing your exams? Are people still in exam season? I know a lot of people are still. Um, how many exams have you got left? Have you finished for summer like me? Like, what are you guys up to? Are you going to be working in summer? Are you going to be doing work experience, internships? I'd absolutely love to know and have a chat with you guys in the comments. Make sure you hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this vlog. There will be a lot more fun vlogs coming, a lot of main channel content, so make sure you're subscribed over there. And I will see you very soon for another vlog. Bye!